Hi, now you know a lot of tricks to detect and stop hackers' activity. But are you ready to a real-life attack? Not yet. To apply the knowledge you've got, you need two more things – psychological preparedness and strategy. And this is the topic of this video. How will you react when discover that cyber criminals are inside your network or digging into your computer? Will you panic or still calm? The difference between these reactions defines almost everything. Because if you won't stay calm, you can't apply skills you get. It's likely you will forget everything you learned about that. So the rule number one is don't panic. For example, during the attack of NanPetya ransomware in the last year, many system administrators were shocked by seeing how the computers in their network was infected one by one and did not take any measures to stop them. But those one who was not shocked and know what to do just quickly turned off other computers and in this way they remained uninfected. More of that, the refined cyber criminals, before providing the technical part of the attack, conduct a psychological attack on the system administrator or security specialist. For example, they can send an SMS on behalf of his girlfriend saying that she leave him or his mother is ill and something like that, just to destroy the calm and confidence of the system administrator so he won't be able to make right decisions during the attack. So, the rule of the success number one is always stay calm and confident. But it's not easy. How can you stay calm and confident when you see your data is ruined or leaking out or your machines uh, is going out of order and many other things like that? To stay calm and confident? The answer to these questions is preparation. So, first of all, you need to have an emergency plan. You need to carefully elaborate it with all members of your teams. So when an attack has happened, everybody knows his role in this situation. What exactly preparation should you do? Here is the preparation list. At least you need to answer these three questions. What are your most valuable assets? In other words, what damage can a cyber attack bring to you? Then you should analyze in what ways these assets can be attacked. And after that, you should elaborate your reactions on any kind of this attack. If you've done everything of it, in that case, you will be aware what to do when the real-life attack happens, and you won't be nervous you will be confident and act quickly and correctly. And what to do if the real-time attack happen? First of all, you need to estimate the scope of the attack. What is the type of the attack? What objects are under threat? And only having answers to these two questions, you can define what will be the first step of your fighting back. And after defining the type of the attack, you can apply the strategy you have elaborated before. It's very important thing that you should not only carefully write down your plan, but you must train it with all your team members. You should conduct regular training according to the plan. And it does not matter if you want to protect your own computer or the whole enterprise network. If you want to protect only your own computer, you should train yourself. And if it's going about the security of an enterprise network, you should provide the training with all teams relating to the cybersecurity issues. And if you wish to report the incident to the law enforcement, you should 
take some measures to save the evidence. For that purpose, you need to do actually a three most important things. You need to cut off the infected host from the network, but don't turn it off or reboot, because if you do that, the evidence that uh, kept in the virtual memory will be lost. So remain the infected host untouchable, but cut it off from other computers. And after that, just don't do anything until forensic team arrives. And keeping these rules, you will lock your network from variety of cyber attacks. But the network is not the only object of uh, a cyber criminals. Another very popular target of the perpetrators is your websites and web applications. And we'll talk about that in the next section.